Good morning to you on this Tuesday the 11th of April 2023. My name is Reverend Jo Richards, Rector here in Canterbury, St Dunstan, St Mildred's and St Peter's. And welcome to morning prayer on this very sunny day here in Canterbury of Tuesday of Easter week. O Lord, open our lips and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. In your resurrection, O Christ, let heaven and earth rejoice. Alleluia. Blessed are you, Lord God of our salvation, to you be praise and glory for ever, as once you ransomed your people from Egypt and led them to freedom in the promised land. So now you have delivered us from the dominion of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of your risen Son. May we, the first fruits of your new creation, rejoice in this new day you have made and praise you for your mighty acts. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God for ever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and for ever. Amen. Our appointed psalm for today is Psalm 112. Alleluia. Blessed are those who fear the Lord and have great delight in his commandments. Their descendants will be mighty in the land, a generation of the faithful that will be blessed. Wealth and richness, riches will be in their house and their righteousness endures forever. Light shines in the darkness for the upright, gracious and full of compassion are the righteous. It goes well with those who are generous in lending and order their affairs with justice. For they will never be shaken. The righteous will be held in everlasting remembrance. They will not be afraid of any evil tidings. Their heart is steadfast, trusting in the Lord. Their heart is sustained and will not fear until they see the downfall of their foes. They have given freely to the poor. Their righteousness stands fast for ever. Their head will be exalted with honour. The wicked shall see it and be angry. They shall gnash their teeth in despair. The desire of the wicked shall perish. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Our first reading this morning is from Song of Solomon, chapter 2, verses 8 through to the end. The voice of my beloved, look, he comes leaping upon the mountains, bounding over the hills. My beloved is like a gazelle or a young stag. Look, there he stands behind our wall, gazing in at the windows, looking through the lattice. My beloved speaks and says to me, arise, my love, my fair one, and come away. For now the winter is past, the rain is over and gone. The flowers appear on the earth, the time of singing has come, and the voice of the turtle dove is heard in our land. The fig tree puts forth its figs and the vines are in blossom. They give forth fragrance. Arise, my love, my fair one, and come away. O oh, my dove in the clefts of the rock, in the covert of the cliff, let me see your face, let me hear your voice. Your voice is sweet and your face is lovely. Catch us, the foxes, the little foxes that, that ruin the vineyards, for our vineyards are in blossom. My beloved is mine and I am his, his pastures, his flock among the lilies. Until the day breathes and the shadow flee, turn my beloved, be like a gazelle or a young stag on the cleft mountains. And now for the song of Moses, our canticle. In your unfailing love, O Lord, you lead the people whom you have redeemed. Alleluia. I will sing to the Lord who has triumphed gloriously. The horse and his rider he has thrown into the sea. The Lord is my strength and my song and has become my salvation. This is my God whom I will praise, the God of my forebears whom I will exalt. The Lord is a warrior. The Lord is his name. 
Your right hand, O Lord, is glorious in power. Your right hand, O Lord, shatters the enemy. At the blast of your nostrils, the sea covered them. They sank as lead in the mighty waters. In your unfailing love, O Lord, you lead the people whom you have redeemed. And by your invisible strength, you will guide them to your holy dwelling. You will bring them in and plant them, O Lord, in the sanctuary which your hands have established. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. In your unfading love, O Lord, you lead the people whom you have redeemed. Alleluia. And now for our reading from Luke 24, verses 1 to 12. But on the first day of the week, at early dawn, they came to the tomb, taking the spices that they had prepared. They found the stone rolled away from the tomb, but when they went in, they did not find the body. <clears throat> While they were perplexed about this, suddenly two men in dazzling clothes stood beside them. The women were terrified and bowed their faces to the ground. But the men said to them, Why do you look for the living among the dead? He is not here, but has risen. Remember how he told you while he was still in Galilee that the Son of Man must be handed over to sinners and be crucified, and on the third day rise again. Then they remembered his words, and returning from the tomb, they told all this to the eleven and to all the rest. Now it was Mary Magdalene, Joanna, Mary the mother of James, and the other women, with them who told this to the apostles but these words seemed to them an idle tale and they did not believe them but peter got up and ran to the tomb stooping and looking in he saw the linen clothes by themselves then he went home amazed at what had happened death is swallowed up in victory. Where, O oh, death, is your sting? Christ is risen from the dead, the first roots of those who have fallen asleep. Death is swallowed up in victory. The trumpet will sound and the dead shall be raised. Where, O oh, death, is your sting? We shall not all sleep, but we shall be changed. Death is swallowed up in victory. Where, O oh, death, is your sting? And now for the Benedictus. The Lord is risen from the tomb, who for our sakes hung upon the tree. Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. A new child shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way to give this people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. The Lord is risen from the tomb, who for our sakes hung upon the tree. Alleluia. Let us pray. Alleluia. So, loving God, we thank you for all the worship that took place across the weekend, that opportunity on Sunday to proclaim, Alleluia, Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Hallelujah. So loving God, we give thanks for that moment of resurrection that gives us the hope 
We pray for those who haven't been able to worship as freely as we have. For those who are persecuted for their faith. We pray particularly at this time for those in the Holy Land. For those who are mourning for the loss of loved ones. And we pray that peace will prevail there. That peace will prevail where there are other places of conflict, particularly in Ukraine, Yemen, Afghanistan, Iran. And we name out aloud or in our hearts those other places that we pray for this day that peace will prevail. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We, at this time, pray for your church, O oh Lord, for those who may have been baptised on Sunday, for those who may have been confirmed, for those who are seeking faith, perhaps for those who've lost faith. Praying for those who perhaps feel lost, that they will turn to you, O Lord. So we pray for Justin, our Archbishop, for Rose, our Bishop, for Will, our Archdeacon, and for all those, lay and ordained, who minister to others at this time. the ministry of picking up the phone, of having a coffee. Wherever we may be this morning, we pray for our local churches and for all those who minister. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we continue to pray for those who are struggling with their physical health this time. Those on our prayer sheet, those who've asked us for prayer and for those known only to you. So in a moment of quiet, we lift them to you, O Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those who this day may be struggling with their mental health. Those who this day are having surgery. For those known to us and those known only to you, O oh Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We continue to pray for those who are mourning the loss of loved ones. For those who are preparing for funerals. And for those whose anniversary of death falls today. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we continue to pray for our city. For those who keep us safe, our emergency services, those who clean the streets, for all our key workers, for those for whom this day may be the last, and for those who may be celebrating a birthday, an anniversary, or for those who will be born today. So, Heavenly Father, accept our prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. And the collect for today. Lord of all life and power, who through the mighty resurrection of your Son overcame the old order of sin and death to make all things new in him, grant that we, being dead to sin and alive to you in Jesus Christ, may reign with him in glory, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be praise and honour, glory and might, now and in all eternity. 
Amen. Rejoicing in God's new creation, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. And may the risen Christ grant us the joys of eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your messages, Ross Graham and Pauline. Good morning to you both. And I know others are watching too. So bless you. Lovely to, to worship together on this glorious day. And to you, Arthur. Good morning and thank you. So uh, please do join us if you can. Um, we'll be back. Night prayer, Compline at six. And John will be leading morning prayer tomorrow, Wednesday at nine. God bless you all. Enjoy the sun. It's a lovely day out there. Goodbye. God bless. Bye for now. Bye.